welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i'm here to tell you all what i have been eating in the day to lose 23 pounds and keep it off a lot of you all ask me so i'm here to share it with you all in this video make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications so you won't miss another meal prep video and another live cooking with me as well as more videos i will be sharing with you all of things i have been losing doing i'm sorry to lose 23 pounds and keep it off let's get into this video so this is another thing you can eat i made some homemade mongolian beef and i have it paired with some brown rice if you don't know how to cook rice which i don't i buy these little um minute rice brown rice um the whole thing is 240 calories but i measured this out this entire lunch is under 300 calories like i said you can still eat good in the neighborhood but just make sure you portion control stay in a calorie deficit but i'm telling y'all nicole be eating good over here and i've managed to lose 23 pounds so many inches and keep the weight off and here are the calories for this meal as you all can see i measure everything out stay in a calorie deficit so this is what i do every morning i work out four days a week intense cardio and weightlifting so i wanted to show you all what i replaced two meals with a shake so this will be a chocolate banana shake it's gonna have cocoa powder almond milk uh, peanut butter protein powder honey super greens or if i don't have these i have been using spinach this is my first time using this um some of this light start instant breakfast mix some flaxseed i'm a tlc distributor so i um also put a little bit of matrix powder in there and for this light start i did one tablespoon there's also a half of a banana in there so we're gonna get into it and this is the completed protein shake I replace two meals with either two shakes or two salads normally, but this week I'm doing all shakes, which will be two of these a day, and then I will show you all what I what meals I will be eating my one main meal of the week. I'll come back and show you all that. Here are the calories for the shake. I'm telling you, eat good. This is what I will be eating for a snack. I do Greek yogurt plain with no sugar this is my first time trying this brand so we're gonna see what it do um three-fourths cup is 130 calories but i'm only doing a half a cup which is going to be 90 calories i'm going to drizzle a little bit of this honey again because this does not have sugar and a little bit of this granola as you can see three-fourths cup is 260 calories but i'm not doing a complete three-fourths cup so once I get everything together, show you all, and then I will show you the nutritional facts. Here is my yogurt bowl. It's 180 calories. So like I say, I still eat good. I do not deprive myself. Um, I was just going to normally do like the protein shake or the smoothies, but I'm hungry. So this is what I'm eating. But yes, get into it. 180 calories. Get into it. As always, here are the calorie intake for the yogurt bowl. So today's lunch is a guilt-free BLT. I know you all have seen me make this before, and I normally do one romaine lettuce leaf, but today I have a total of six. And I even measured out the mayonnaise, which I will show you all the nutritional facts. Um, I did one teaspoon of mayo, and I smeared a little bit on between each leaf. This is uncured. I think it's, I'm going to show you all the bacon in a minute, but this is turkey bacon, tomatoes, pickles, pepperoncinis with a little bit of complete seasoning. Let me show y'all that now. Oh, Lord. So, this is a complete seasoning. This is the turkey bacon that I got from Walmart. It's uncured turkey bacon, 45 calories a slice. I will post the nutritional facts for you all, but this is under 300 calories. And the calories came from the turkey bacon. So, get into it. Like, this is how I've been eating. What I've been eating to lose weight. Y'all, I'm one pound away from 239. I weigh 240. Boom. 
Here are the nutritional facts for the BLT. The thing is to track your calorie intake. Over the weekend, I made eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I've been literally eating off these all week. And I won't stir fry, but without the rice. So I took two of these, which is about 250 calories, and I sauteed it up with a bell pepper, some mushrooms, and some onions, and I have that um, cooking and a little bit of olive oil and then the juice that had gelatized or gelatinized or whatever you say i just poured that over in here and when i tell y'all party in your freaking mouth i put a little bit of salt on there and if i had some of that yum yum sauce which i need to buy this will straight up be a hibachi meal but yes if i had some of that yum yum sauce and i think something hughes makes a uh, um sugar-free yum yum sauce so get into it like get into the things that you all can make and things that i have been eating to lose weight so yeah get into it if y'all could just smell this look at it chicken thighs are my new thing to eat i don't even buy breast no more i'm either eating a wing or a chicken thigh you can't tell and i cook these in the air fryer on the roast feature talk about freaking delicious so well, this is today's lunch if you look really close you see black beans right there so this is steak um a steak salad with black beans tomatoes lettuce cheese and corn this salad is under 300 calories and that's ranch dressing and my favorite ranch dressing to use is this Boathouse Farm, Boathouse Farms Classic Ranch. So like I say, you can eat good. Just make sure you measure everything out when I say I measure everything. I have 1.2 ounces. Um, so 30, it's about two tablespoons actually, a little bit over two tablespoons. But when you drizzle it on there, this salad dressing is the bomb.com. So yeah, you can still eat good and I still eat good as you all can see. But yeah, it's about to go down. This is the calories for the steak salad. I'm telling y'all, you can still eat. My next favorite meal is roast chicken thighs. I cook them in the air fryer and I pair that with some brown rice and some broccoli. Talk about bomb that freaking calm. As you can see, low calories as well. This is something you can eat for breakfast. I ate this when I was in Florida. Eggs, yogurt, fruit, sausage, and guacamole. My another favorite meal I like is chicken legs with roast vegetables and brown rice, as well as a bell pepper sandwich, any meats of your choice, all the veggies. As always, you can eat fruit, like fruit is a must when you're craving sweets. I also made a gyro salad. That's just some gyro meat that I bought in my local grocery store with all the vegetables, feta cheese, and some tzatziki sauce. Also, you don't always need bread. I made a tomato sandwich. So the tomato served as the bun. And this was an Italian sandwich. And I put all the favorite toppings on it. I use oil and vinegar. Complete seasoning. Talk about bombfreaking.com. I also love a spinach salad with sweet onion Vidalia dressing. Strawberries. You talking about party in your freaking mouth. This combination with blueberries and pineapples try it together y'all and freaking thank me later again this is all foods i've been eating to lose 23 pounds to keep it off my favorite thing when i can't make a shake is the premier protein shakes all of them are freaking good okay all the flavors are good and then i call this skittles in the bowl taste the rainbow i have blueberries um those are some cooties cuties some grapes and some strawberries so this is everything i've been eating y'all i gave y'all some ideas of some things that you can eat comment below and let me know if you all are going to try some things and comment below and also give me some ideas to eat